In this video, I will show you how to access your nodes running on CML directly from your secure CRT session. So let's get started. So the first thing I do is I log in to my CML. So I will SSH to my CML as admin. And then I will list all the nodes which are running on my lab. So as you can see here, there is a lab ID. This will become very important shortly. And then you have a node ID. And then you have your lines here. And we will be using zero for the console access. So using the information extracted, let's go and see how this is implemented or added to my secure CRT sessions. So I have named my nodes, as you can see here on running on the lab. So I've got switch one, switch two, switch three and switch four. I've prepared the four sessions here for each node. And let me just show you how I have set them up. So as a host name under SSH, so first I have to log in obviously to CML console. So I'm using the IP address of the VM. So this is the same address as you will use to get into CML using your browser. Under the logon action, I'm sending this command here, which is open forward slash the lab ID that I have extracted by running the list. So is this command, is this label ID here, forward slash node zero for switch one, and then zero for console. For switch two, it will be pretty much the same thing. On the secure shell session, I'm using the same IP address again. For the logon action, the only difference so I still have the same syntax open and the lab ID. The only difference here is the node ID, which is N1, which corresponds to switch two and so forth all the way to switch four. So where do I get this command from? I simply get it from here. If you go and look at the, the information you have here when you SSH to your console, you can see that the syntax is open forward slash lab one, which is essentially your lab ID. So you just have to replace the lab dash one with your own lab ID and then node ID and zero for console. Let's do our test. My nodes are already running. They are running and ready. So if I click on switch one, I jump in straight to switch one. That's my switch to, and you can see here that you are opening the console using the command that we have already seen before. Switch three and switch four. So for as long as the lab ID remains the same, you should be able to turn down your VM and your lab. And once you restart it a few days after, what have you, you should be able to just click on this session and get access to your nodes straight away. I hope this information has been useful and thank you for watching.